Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X-2. We're gonna go talk to Buddy, he's gonna tell us about Xanarkand again, because he's a piece of garbage and doesn't shut up about that. I'm kidding, Buddy. I didn't mean to call you a piece of garbage. We're gonna head to Beaconel, which is a hot spot, but it's a very, very short hot spot. In fact, it's probably the shortest... Well, Xanarkand might be the shortest hot spot. I don't quite remember actually how short Xanarkand is, but Beacon is pretty short and it gives you barely anything. It gives you 0.8%, so... Still have to do it, though. Every percentage point is important in this little run we're doing here. Beaconel Island. This is where the Allbed's beloved home stood until two years ago. Most have moved on, but... A handful of our beds still live here today. They say countless machina lie buried under the desert sands. Leave the trailblazing to me! Um, I that don't music. think that sand dune used to be there. Trust Riku, she knows where she's going. She kind of doesn't, by the way. Also, these encounters should be relatively easy. Don't you speak your Japanese at me, woman. You might notice Riku's dressed differently. Riku's actually a gun mage. She has a very specific, um... She, don't has any, she doesn't have any skills, I don't think, except fire. We can cast fire if we want to. Uh, she has very specific garment grid. Primarily for Besaid Island when we get there, but for now, I, I felt like, you know what, nice I never use Gun Mage, and Riku looks kind of cool with the Gun Mage outfit, so I figured maybe we'll, uh... I'm here, Riku, chill out. Maybe we'll get some experience with the, the Gun Mage a bit earlier on than I might normally do. Probably Power Break you. I don't know how strong you are, but you certainly hit pretty hard. The faster we can get some specials for Riku, the better, because you do... It's, this might sound like, why would you never not use Gun Mage, but there are other things that can be slightly more useful. Uh, her abilities that she learns, her special bullets, basically, do quadruple damage to a specific type of enemy. How did she get way up there, and why did I start running backwards? Do we need to heal? Alright. We get to do this whole shebang for a while until we finally get there. And then we never have to do it again. I really do like the, uh, the, the gun mage weapon. It looks pretty cool. There we go. All about them combos. Don't you do your winky eye wiggle finger at me, Riku. We don't have time for this. I would prefer if you actually took us to the area that we desire to go in a slightly faster fashion, but... It can't be helped. This is the part of the game where you just run around until the game feels like you're done running around. I'm not gonna power break this guy. I don't think I need to. Armor break might be alright, but I don't think we need to. I also changed what uh, Yuna is learning. I decided we may as well go ahead and move her, move her over to level 2 Trigger Happy. Which just, I think it's like a 50% extension on the duration of Trigger Happy or something ridiculous like that. Oh, the game has decided we are done running around, finally. Took the game long enough. Riku, you can't do anything until it decides that. Right? Uh, Riku, are we in trouble? <laughs> you...
Megatron, you're Lusak too. Hot down, Kadam, drop an Apush. Rabunapu, check for Dekush and Drana. Will do, Captain. Like, it just says stuff and then walks away. Alright. It's locked. Oh yeah, that's your, like, prize chest. I forgot about that. Before we do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and touch the safe sphere over yonder. Hello. Who are you? Show me your wares. Sure. What do you have? Do you have anything useful? Uh, the red ring. We can kind of get around the requirement of the red ring, though, pretty easily. The fire gleam might be useful later. Uh, we need to talk to her, I believe. Hello? We need to talk to someone very specific over here. Dala, that's who we need to talk to. Wanna be diggers? Uh, yes. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Just find where Riku's standing. Step one. Good process. He says they had to move the camp to escape a sandstorm. We could have looked forever and never found it. Oh. What? Sounds like there's a big sandstorm coming in. Mm, it's probably too big for the airship to handle. I guess we won't be leaving the way we came. How convenient. How very convenient. Is Nadala here yet? I don't see a Nadala. Do you know anything about Nadala? Presently, we're serving the western, southern, and central expanse, because I've examined none of them, so they're all still there. So we can't leave, obviously, because, you know, that's not what I meant to do. Do you ask for disaster to strike you? Not really. Just scouting the outer area here, don't mind me. What do you say, sir? Apparently this always happens, fair enough. I need to talk to pilot dude again. Oop. Nope, I need to talk to that guy again. Kind of done that all enough. Could you wear something that's slightly less awkward? It draws a lot of attention to her crotch. I don't know if you've noticed that, but. Man, I wish I could remember how exactly the start of this area works. There she is. Your clothing draws a lot to I'm your crotch. Busy, so make it fast, okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Uni, show her Gipple's letter. Not right now. Oh, so you're the new guys. That's us. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. Let's get to it then. Here's where we are. And here is where you're headed. Ah, oh, but it's so far. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. Will do, Capitan. Dig up and deliver the required parts. Indeed, our goal is to go to a very specific X. I think it's like the gold one or whatever. And then if we have time, go to the other specific X's, which I believe are white. Western Expanse, please. Oh my god, you know what is going on with your skirt. That doesn't have any mouth on them. Pick it. Hey, sweet cakes. Nice to meet you. 
I'm glad you guys program your robots this way. Alright, yeah, we need to go to the yellow X there. Lots of other X's everywhere else. But our priority is entirely that X over yonder, and I'm not at all in any way, shape, or whatever. Not at all concerned about anything other than that X, so... We're gonna head to this one immediately, and then with whatever spare time we have, we'll go in a, a circle and grab the others. There we go. Get back to the hover before time expires. Suddenly random encounter with these dudes, which I'm... Not actually going to fight this time. Uh, apparently she's going to fight them solo. Oops. There we go. Somehow that missed, despite her running into the punch. Whatever. It doesn't take any time, as far as I'm aware, to do those encounters, but... Oh, the encounter rate in this area is so bad. This is no kind problem. of the... We will fight this thing. This is kind of the problem with uh, this specific endeavor, is the freaking encounter rate out here makes it incredibly tedious. Also, Gun Mage is really slow with the attack animation. If you haven't noticed that yet, it's kind of, it kind of hampers doing combos if you're not timing everything specifically. Ding. At least we got a decent layout for this. Oh. Except for that one where we got ambushed. That was not a very good layout. Amazingly, it's not actually an ambush. It just said ambush. It shouted it at us. It's not... It'd be a more effective ambush if it didn't shout at us before it showed up, but whatever. Not gonna argue with it. So basically, we got 400 gil in the mission critical item, which, you know... whoop de doo I am at the hover, chill out. Just what we needed. You're good. What'd you expect? Mm, don't let it go to your head. But you did do a good job. Here, your reward. Yes! Thank you. Hooray! Beaconel is done. That took way longer than I actually anticipated it doing, but that was probably because I got lost, so... Hooray. We have zero, with zero failed digs, we're in the Sandbox League. But we did get a new Garment Grid, which I'm not sure if I'll use. We'll do a quick glance at it, but I'm not sure I'll use it. Is the Still of Night 1, which you use Silence and Blind. It gives you Silence and Silence Touch and Dark Touch, Dark Touch, Dark Proof, whatever. You know what I mean. It's all right, but everything is so spread out, very much like something like uh, Restless Sleep or whatever. Uh, there's actually a couple that have that layout, I've noticed. It's so spread out that it's actually kind of tedious to get even just something like Dark Touch. Getting Dark Proof and Silence and or Silence Proof is pretty easy, but you can usually just equip rings or what accessories or whatever to it. Come back anytime you like. We'll be here. Okay. If you move again, can you take your save sphere with you? That way I can just go straight to the save sphere and not have to wander through the desert. You don't have to wander through the desert anymore, by the way. So that's Beaconel. Now we get to go to Bavel, which is home of New Yevon, as you might imagine, considering it's freaking Bavel. Yeah, 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 Xanarkand, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. Stop telling me about Xanarkand for the love of God. Eventually, we're going to need to do Besaid and Xanarkand, but, you know, those will be... Basically, the last things we do is going to be Besaid and Xanarkand. But either way, we need to go to Bell. It's one star, there's no encounters here. I don't even know why some of these places have a star difficulty when there's nothing that ever occurs there, but... Whatever. It was probably easier just to set them to, like, one star all the time, instead of just removing it or putting it zero or something like that. The 
Ravel remains at the heart of Spira, even today. It's also the place where I was born. I suppose that makes it my hometown, but I can't say that I have a lot of fond memories here. Welcome to Bavel. Welcome to also this bridge that should look relatively familiar. We need to talk to a guy, which actually is this guy. No. Who is it we need to talk to? Um, Barari. I'll use your lift. Why not? Whoosh! Fancy lift is fancy. He might actually be inside. I don't... I never remember anything. What else is new? But he may be inside that we need to dig to, to dig to, to speak to. One of the things that I've lost the ability to do, apparently, is teak. I can no longer teak. Very disappointing day for uh, humanity. Oh, the humanity! Insert miscellaneous picture of rainbows and or uh, what's it's what are those called? You think being in Florida, I would remember what the heck those things are called, but whatever. This way, Lady Yuna, quickly. Why are we running? Oh, the High Summoner. I see you finally decided to join New Yevon. No. You do us much honor, my lady. Lord Braska, may he rest in peace, would be proud. I will summon the Praetor immediately. I beg your leave. I'm I'm not joining New Yevon, bro. Hushy, isn't he? Um, we should leave. Hey, what's the matter, Uni? Well, you see, there was this arrangement, um, with the son of the chairman of New Yevon. I turned the offer down, but I thought it'd be kind of awkward. Yuna? Hmm? You're probably right. Let's go. Huh? No, wait! Uh, wait! Uh, hey! Oh! Huh. Pleasure, Lady Yuna. I am Barilai, Praetor of New Yevon. So, you're the Chairman's son? Ah, as it happens, the Chairman has recently resigned, as did his son, the Praetor. They were trying to take too much power. We had to ask them to leave. Now the younger members run the party, by mutual consensus, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. So you see, Lady Yuna, it is not I that was meant to marry the High Summoner. Not that we wouldn't appreciate your support. On the contrary, you'd be most welcome. I understand if your feelings toward Yevin are mixed. But I would hope that you could put that aside and join our cause. Nope. The world is changing, and there are many who are finding it difficult to keep up. New Yevin wishes to help those who feel lost in the winds of change. If you'll excuse me, there are matters which require my attention. Oh, and should you come across any spheres of Spear's past, please do let us know. My lady? Ooh. <laughs> so, what do you think? What? Pain? I think I've heard enough. What now? Hooray! I believe that's all we had to actually do there, is talk to dude bro. Bird, bard, bar, what was his name? God dang it. Barai? Barley? Walleray? I don't know. Either way, I believe that was all we had to do. Is there a way to check other than save spheres what your uh, percentage is? Apparently not. Let's go to the save sphere. 
Then make a new save. Actually, no, we'll overwrite uh, three, I think is what we're on. We'll continue our desire to overwrite things. I should have wrote the thing back down, but I didn't, so we're going to very slowly run back this way. Oop, there's the sphere. Let's do a quick save before we board the airship again, just because I want to be sure. We should be at... 18, which is exactly the same as what we should be at before, but... Before we talk to Barra the Bird to Burr, but... I may as well check anyway, just to be certain, because I'm not sure... That is 18. It's kind of what it should be, but... We'll know by the end of this set if I've missed it, I think. Will we? No, we wouldn't. Yes, we would. Because it would still be 18 at the end of the set if I had missed that. Jump the thing! Thank you. That's why I never use that very much. Having said that, I use that fairly often recently, but... It doesn't always work. So now we're going to head to the Calm Lands, which you can actually walk to from Pavel, I think, but... We're just going to keep using the airship, because that's what, how I do, basically. We need to start a uh, mission here. Well, I don't know if it's actually a mission, but we need to start a side quest style thing here. I don't think we actually need to do anything with it. I could be mistaken, but at the very least we need to go here and start off the side quest thing, which is its not very difficult to start, so... The Calm Lands. Many summoners used to cross these plains, their hearts heavy with the weight of their pilgrimage. I was no different, but the calm lands we knew have changed. Ooh, I love these games! I have a hundred Argent credits. Well, I have a hundred open-air credits! Open-air what? Well? So, welcome to the new Calm Lands. The new Calm Lands are just filled with a bunch of little minigame style bollocks that, uh... I may or may not show. It's probably gonna be May at some point in the game show these, but... There's a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of different things. The one they showed right there was, um... Basically like dog racing, or something along those lines, whatever in your country is kind of like dog racing. Also the enemies here are super weak compared to what we've been fighting. The enemies in Calm Lands are like a joke, for whatever reason. It's a, if you can, if you know what you're doing, or you can figure out a pattern of some type, it's a decent-ish way to pass some time and get some items and stuff like that, but uh, I'm not good at the vast majority of these games, which seem to be primarily about luck. Large quantities of luck. So... But what we're here to do is we're here to talk to one of the agents of a specific... And yeah, Chocobo right away. God dang it, Chocobo. Good one job. We're supposed to feed them Geisel Greens, but uh, we don't have any. Uh, we're we're going to talk to an agent. It doesn't matter which company they're from. Thankfully, I think there's actually one from each company over here, if you feel like it. But Welcome to Argent Inc. I've not come to play Lupine Dash. I've actually come here to... Publicity Menu? Sign me up. There you go. How am I doing? I haven't done anything. So that's all you have to do, you just have to start advertising for someone. I don't believe you have to actually do any advertising. I think the fastest way out may actually be run to the center of this area, so... Can I get an airship ride from you? I think you can. Um, ride hover... Well, our next place to go is actually Mount Gagazette, so we may as well go ahead and head to just Gagazette. It's not going to take us to Mount Gagazette, but we can walk the rest of the way fairly easily. 
We might get in like 74 encounters before we do a screen transition, but hey. Also, the music in the Calmlands is actually really good. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I don't believe these guys are terribly hard as well. Having said that, they did quite the damage there. Will they continue doing quite the damage? The answer, as it turns out, is apparently yes. Thankfully, though, they don't have an astronomical amount of health like something in Makalania Woods would have. That's the big difference in difficulty modifiers, is basically how much health do things have, it seems. Stuff in Makalania has, like, triple the HP of stuff in the Calmlands. For whatever reason, you'd think the Calmlands would be harder, but they're not. And it will swap around all the freaking time. Like, const every chapter, the hardest place will, will, like, swap around to different areas. Mostly to irritate me more so than anything else, but hey. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. It's their game. They can do whatever they want. And we should get a cutscene here for going to Mount Gagazet, which should give us the percentage we desire from going to said Gagazet. The Ronso still live here on Mount Gagazet. Kimari is their elder now, and he's working hard to unite his people. Still, it seems much quieter here than it used to be. Maybe because summoners no longer come here to climb the sacred mountain. Gagazet, apparently. Not Gagazet, but whatever. I'm gonna continue saying Gagazet because that's how I've always said it. Leave me alone. Kimari! You not look well. Kimari glad. How you been, Kimari? What's it like being an elder? Elder's job difficult. Kimari troubled. Elder, Leon and Aid not here. Children have left Mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. If Kimari act like true elder, these things not happen. Maybe so. Kimari? I summon a Yuna, it is Garrick's honor. Nice to meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. Um... My, what a lovely horn you have. We'll take care of Leonid. Don't you grunt at me, mister. Kimari cannot leave Mountain. Do do do. Kimari bring the bat Gagazet. Do do do. We know. You know um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and end this video. Let's go ahead and save here rather than the airship because we need to go to Xanarkand, and that teleport pad goes straight to Xanarkand. So I believe we can go where we desire via that teleport pad. I think so, anyway. Maybe not. We'll overwrite this one because this was my test one earlier, so... We should be at 19%. 19.4 specifically, but 19% nonetheless. If we aren't, then I get Don goofed. We are at 19, alright. So we're still good. Alright, so... Me and Kamari here, and his waifu. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then. We're probably gonna finish off uh, chapter 1 soon.